Hello everybody. In this video, let us discuss about SPath command in Splunk. So, an SPath command is used to extract data, especially whenever you are using structured data formats like JSON or XML. Otherwise, even a combination of unstructured data and XML or unstructured data and JSON, if, if your data is like that, then also you can always extract fields from those pertaining data. Right? So, uh, this particular command spath is a field extraction command in Splunk. So, in this video, let us see how to use this particular spath command. So, in order to do this one, I will be going to my Splunk interface. So, uh, before that one, basically I do have three files actually. Okay? So, as I have discussed it right now, one is the pure, pure JSON data like this. Okay? So, this is a pure JSON data and another is the unstructured data plus JSON. See, from here till here, this is unstructured data and from here onwards, this is JSON data. Okay? So, a combination of mixed data, both unstructured data and JSON data is available. So, this is another kind of data and this is XML data. Right? These three kinds of data we do have. So, now let us ingest into the Splunk environment and now let us see how to extract this particular kind of data. So, now in order to do that one, what I will be doing, I will be going to my AWS cloud because everything is on my AWS cloud. So, I will be copying this one public IP address and I will be saying https colon slash slash IP address colon 8000 as the port number so that I can access my web interface. So, admin is the username and password I will be giving. So, once after logging into the particular environment, so I can go to the settings tab over here and I will be clicking on the add data so that what are the files that I have shown you. So, I will be adding all these things, okay, all these files I will be adding one by one. So, now if I click on this upload button, it will be asking me to add some files. So, I will be selecting the file over here and So, these are the three files I am talking about. So, first of all, I will be using this JSON underscore unstructured. Okay. So, okay. So, I will be selecting this file. I will be clicking on next. Okay. So, that, so like this, this will be forming the particular thing and source type it, it already takes as underscore JSON. Okay. And if I click on next. I can provide the input settings where the host field I will be keeping as it is and the index name. Okay, So, I will be creating a new index. Okay, I will be creating a new index called ESPath. Okay, the command name itself I will be creating as index Okay, so that we can remember and I will be saving this one. Okay, So, in this particular index I will be saving the particular events whatever we do have json data basically okay so now if i click on review okay and if i click on submit i can start searching over here so this is the data that we do have okay so this is the index and this is the source type that has been created ok so if I use fast mode over here and if I search so we will be having the particular data so now what I will be doing I will be again adding going to settings tab I will be clicking on add data and the remaining two formats also I will be ingesting into the Splunk environment so again I will be clicking on this upload
again I will be clicking on select file and this time I will be taking the mixed JSON structure and mixed JSON and unstructured data ok so this particular file I will be uploading and if I click on next so here it is saying no results found because it is a combination of the both of the things right unstructured data as well as JSON data so it cannot produce the preview so again if you see over here it is taking underscore json only so i will be changing this one this source step because earlier we have taken underscore json so now i will be clicking on default ok source step is default and now i will be saving as save, save as button i will be clicking and now i will be giving some name some mixed unstructured underscore json some name like this i can always give description is not required and i will be the app is search and reporting app only and i will be saving this one okay so now if i click on next and here also the host field name i will be giving keeping as it is and index name i will be taking as s path whatever i have created earlier okay and i'll be clicking on review so that it will be the particular thing will be ingested if I click on submit the data will be ingested into the Splunk environment and now similarly what I will be doing I will be going to the settings tab again and I will be clicking on add data where the third format of the data which is xml that file also I will be ingesting into the Splunk environment I will be clicking on the upload button I will be clicking on select file and I will be selecting this xml data dot txt if I click next ok so here also I will be going to the default and I will be clicking on save as and I will be saying xml underscore data ok so in the same search and reporting app and I will be saving this one so if I click on next again here also the index name I will be taking S path and the host field value I will be keeping the private IP address only and if I click on review ok so all the details it will be showing to me and if I click on submit the data will be ingested into the Splunk environment so now if I click on start searching ok and if I remove this one and even, even if I remove this one ok so now if I search this one let me put in fast mode ok and if I search this one so these are all the events that we do have right so this is the unstructured data plus JSON data so this is the XML data and this is the purely JSON data ok so now see here you can always find it three source steps whatever we have ingested so one, one, one is the underscore json which is the pure json data mixed strand structure and json data this is the second one and this is the xml data so now and again sources if you see whatever the files we have included it has taken as sources ok so now first of all let us go to this particular pure json data source type json i will be selecting over here ok so that we will be having this particular event only one event is there ok so 204 lines are there in this particular event so this is the actual json data that we have ingested right so now if you see this one so for example if you want to extract this level is there right the value of this level is what info ok in, in the json the value of this level is info so if you want to extract this particular value so how we will be doing we will be using this particular yes path command so we will be extending this with the pipe symbol and i will be saying yes path ok so and path as the property i will be giving equals to level i will be giving ok equals to level so now if you search this one see level is the particular field it has formed that's what we have that's what we have discussed right so whatever the data is there ok json data or xml data it will be we can always extract okay and we can always save them as fields 
so this path is a field extractor method so we can always see info is the value because we do have info right okay so it is the value so like that we can always extract by using the s path as the command okay and path is the property we can always give and whatever the particular name is there right so that name the parameter you can always give level is the parameter and its value is info like that you can always extract so here if you observe so because this is a simple parameter right level info value we do have okay so we can always put path equals to level but see if you if you come to the next parameter programs okay so here in the particular programs if you see here you do have a this is an error basically in json let me go to the particular file i can explain you better so if you see over here this programs is there right so if i select this one over here okay yeah so this is an array okay so actually this programs has got two values what are those two values so if you go to selection over here and if i expand selection to brackets if i select this one see until here it is one value programs okay this is an array where until here it is this is one value of the programs and again from here onwards okay so from here onwards if you see this is the another value see exactly season it has started right so here also season like that we will be having see season orchestra concerts like that we are having here also if you see again from here season orchestra concerts like that we will be having so this is the second value for what for the particular parameter programs okay so programs is an array you have to consider so now what how we can extract this particular if you want to extract this programs okay so what are the programs two programs are there right if you want to extract these two programs how we can do that one so we can always put path equals to programs okay and because this is an array we have to put the curly braces over here okay once after giving the name we have to give the particular curly braces okay so now if you search see programs as the field it has formed what are the curly with the, along with the curly braces also okay so programs as the field is formed and if you see see two values the entire whatever the enter string is there it has taken as one value over here and other the and other thing as the other value it has taken so two values it has got okay so like this you can always uh, extract the particular fields okay so because this is an array you are putting the curly braces over here okay so again in this curly braces right if you want only first one okay so only first one then you can always provide an index over here either 0 or 1 so first one first value only if you want for example say only from here till here okay if you want okay you can always provide or from here till the end if you want just like in the selection if you now select this one okay see i'll be having this selection so um, and to up to here if you want okay you can always provide an index either first one or the second one how you can do that one you can always put if you want first one you can always put index as zero okay so now if you search see only one value will be having okay only one value will be having okay and similarly if you put one over here and if you search okay the second value whatever we have seen right now from starting from here okay so we'll be having this one see season 18 43 44 is there right if you observe over here see season 18 43 44 exactly from that particular location it will be extracting as the value in the particular field okay that is the thing that you can always do but you don't want like this see here we have got see whatever the index we are passing or whatever the curly braces are there here we are uh, we are getting the same thing in the field also right field also we are getting as the same thing so i don't want i don't want like that i want a proper field name then what you can do you can always pass output as the parameter okay output as the property okay and you can always give the name whatever the name you want programs okay so now if you search this one 
see you will be having programs as the particular field or else for both the values okay so if you do not specify anything you will be getting the both the values how many values you have okay so all those things you will be having okay so now if i search we will be having two values with the field name what programs see this is one thing and the other thing is this one okay so like that we can always do and again if you see over here okay so now if again if you come over here and if you see so now if you want to extract this season within this one okay in 